I'm making a tour on how to use Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition with FMA Game Studio 3.0. Okay, firstly we click Create Project. Now we Windows Game and we'll call it. Well, I'll call it. Uh, let's call it Tutorial 1. Okay. Start off with, and you've got to add content. So we right click content and click add existing item. Pictures, lots of easy picture. Um, let's add that because it's easy to go with. But it's JPG, which is not a good format. I recommend PNG. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. Now, that we've got it added, we have got to type. Uh, uh, it's a texture. Texture 2D. I just call it what you call it here is what you'll have to refer to later on in the game. So text for texture and uh, let's go. Okay. And then we'll go um get set. Okay, and then we'll do this weird thing at the end. I don't know what that's for, but Used a lot. There we go. And now we need a rectangle. We're gonna need this. I'll just call it my rectangle. And um, I don't think I'll need to get set for this. Okay, I don't think you need to get set. Okay, there are no errors, that's good. Okay, now we're going to have to go to load content. What is it? This. There, load content. And we'll call all. Now, what we have to do is type. Oh, God. And we're going to type. Text. Can I guess? Equals. Space equals space. Uh, this dot. Content dot load and this arrow thing. Okay, load. It tells you what to do there, and it's a texture two dimensional. Oh, and close it and I'll do brackets. Now we go to the asset name, so we go over to that right click it. Properties asset name camera. So then we go here. We always have to use speech marks. Alright, when you're doing asset name. Now we have to do that thing. Then we need to load the rectangle. So my yes, rectangle space eagle space this dot content dot. Load. 
It is a rect. Uh, I set that up. Sorry. It is new rectangle. Now we enter the coordinates. No, it, wait, we don't need a space. Just a break. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there. It's the. There. These are the. That's the uh, X position, the Y position, the width and the height of the image. You set the other go. 400, comma, 100, comma. And I'll make it 320 by 240. That, and we ended up with that dot, com, dot over com. Now we go down to add drawing code. Okay, now I'm going to go. Bracket weird dot over comma thing. I have to go sprite match dot and bracket bracket thing. Now in the middle, I'll go sprite match dot draw. Now this time I have to put something in the brackets. Now whatever you called your picture you loaded, it's better if it has no spaces. So try and make it no spaces in the picture. Text carry yes, comma my rectangle comma space. Now the colour dot white to add no t so that's if you want a tint if you can add make a different colour but I don't want a tint right now. And then we'll leave that thing. Okay. Now test again. By clicking F five, it's loading. It's successful. So there. There's my sprite. Actually the mouse goes away when it enters. There's the sprite. Oh, to change the background. We have to close this first. No. This is really, really quick. See that? You go. Make it any colour you want, but I'm just going to do green. F5. Now the background colour's changed. Okay, that's all you have to do. Okay, it's the debug. I don't know what's happening. Okay, and then, yeah, I'll try, I don't know what you need, back on the let's go, white, F5, yeah, so it's just the sprite now, okay, and thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope it helped, and I'll make, the next one's gonna be on, adding text to the game.